What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and is it just me, or over the last couple of years, tell me if you've noticed this as well, it seems like the royal family, or better yet, the drama surrounding the royal family, has become a more popular topic of discussion in America than it ever really has been, at least in my lifetime. And more specifically, it's not even really the royal family. I wouldn't say the royal family or talking about the royal family is really popular in America, but talking about Harry and Meghan, oh boy, it seems like America is really invested in that gossip. It's like, oh, we don't care about the queen or the king, but Harry and Meghan, boy, oh boy, are we invested in that drama. And when I say we, I mean Americans. Me, I really don't care. I don't follow up with it too much. Whenever I do look into it or whenever something catches my eye and I read into it, it's always hilarious. I really enjoyed the South Park episode that made fun of them talking about how they want their privacy. My privacy, my privacy. Yet y'all came to America and signed deals for, you know, Harry came out with a book. Y'all came out with a documentary. It, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Harry charge people like a pay-per-view event to watch him go through therapy and have a therapy session? Really weird, right? It's like you claim you want privacy, yet you're charging people like $40 to watch your therapy sessions. Weird. But people in America eat it right up. I think most Americans kind of hate Harry and Meghan, although I would say Meghan has a, a little fan base. Where do you fall in all of it? Do you like Harry and Meg? Are you against them? Do you care about the royal family at all? Or are you like me and you really don't give a damn? Well, the only reason I'm really here to talk about this situation today is because surprisingly enough, there was just a documented UFO sighting right next to Harry and Meg's house. Let's go ahead and dive in and figure out what's going on here. A flying saucer was allegedly spotted hovering near Harry and Meghan's $14 million mansion outside of Los Angeles. A mysterious circular object was seen in the mountains overlooking Kakahuma Lake in Santa Barbara County, about 25 miles from the couple's home. Unidentified flying object hunter Tony Marino saw the disc-like object on Google Earth. The 8-meter-wide circular object had strange writing on it and appeared to cast a shadow on the ground. The former royals purchased this 9-bedroom, 16-bathroom mansion 18,000 square foot modern home in Montecito during the summer of 2021. The area has been visited by curious UFO objects before. In fact, in 1969, a UFO was spotted in almost the exact same area by two friends who claimed the UFO was nine or ten times the size of a plane. Here's some photos of the object in question right here. And is it just me or does that look like a CD? <laughs> that looks like a giant CD. I don't know if Queen Elizabeth is coming back from whatever planet she went to to visit Meg and Harry. Um, you know, a lot of those people are lizard people. So you always... <laughs> You always see UFOs around these type of people because they're lizard people. That's the perfect explanation. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Kidding. But in all seriousness, I thought this was a fun little story. And yesterday, NASA actually had a UFO briefing talking about UFOs as well. So like I've been saying over the course of, I don't know, over a dozen videos, it seems like we're getting closer and closer to the point that they're just going to come out and be like, hey, aliens are real and they walk amongst us. 
And I think that the world will go into a full panic if that happens. Some believe that the only reason why they aren't transparent with us about there being life from other planets and things of that nature is because people will panic. Would you panic if tomorrow, if tomorrow they told you that, hey, aliens are real, not only are aliens real, they've been visiting us and some of the people walking around amongst you are aliens as well. Would you freak out or would you just go about your life? I think at this point, as far as I'm concerned, I would probably just be like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I mean, there's so much crazy stuff going on in the world that it feels like aliens are the least of our worries right now. But I do like that we're starting to at least open up a little bit about the UFO topic. But I just do not believe that it is for a good reason. I feel like they're only being open about this because they have something that they're going to do. They have some type of a, uh, some type of an agenda because we've known about UFOs and the subject of UFOs for years and decades and decades and decades. And it always seems like they dig this stuff up and they start being transparent about things right when they could use it for something, you know, use it for their own good. I mean, not the good of us, but for the good of them. So who knows what will happen in the future? As of right now, all I do know is that we are living in some crazy times. We are living in some crazy times where they could just release news articles like this one right here saying, hey, a UFO was spotted by Harry and Meg's house. Anyway, what did Donald Trump and Joe Biden do today? Oh, okay. You know, so I like to try to zone in on, on these random news stories that don't get much coverage. So if you've been looking at my channel, you're like, that's a weird story. That's a weird story. That's a weird story. It's because there's so much news that comes out in a day. And often I feel like the more interesting things get glossed over in order for them to talk about stuff that a lot of people don't even care about anymore or in order for them to just, you know, constantly talk about politics, politics, politics. And I understand that politics are important, but I think these stories are interesting as well. Like the UFOs, the killer whales teaching people how to attack ships. There's so much weird stuff going on in the world. And I like to shine a spotlight on some of those stories every now and then because it feels like our world is increasingly getting crazier. But as our world gets crazier, there's so many more distractions put out there for you. So it feels as if we're living in a place where those of us who are paying attention are going to be at least somewhat prepared for what's to come. And others are living in a whole different reality where they don't even realize that all of this wild stuff is happening around them. As far as this story goes, I'm not looking too much into it. I mean, I think it's a funny and an entertaining story. I think we could create a lot of jokes about this one. Is Harry and Meg, are they, are they aliens? Possibly. I think a lot of people have been assuming that there's something up with Meg this whole entire time. Maybe we know why. Maybe they are going to leave on the mothership. Maybe they want their privacy so bad that they have contacted another civilization light years away so they can go to that planet and hopefully get better approval ratings and maybe they can pump out documentaries and stuff over there until they complain about their privacy there and then they transfer to another planet. Who knows <laughs> what's going to happen? Let me know your thoughts though down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumb up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.